I actually go, what is spring? I'm like holding up this like incredible, incredible product and people might not know what it is. Yeah, so spring is uh, an active compression device. It has a whole range of uses uh, all the way from post-workout recovery to reducing uh, swelling, uh, to helping uh, reduce fatigue in your legs uh, and helping with tight and achy legs. What it basically does is um, it uses active compression to uh, help with uh, your blood circulation or rather improve your blood circulation in your lower extremities. So that's what spring is uh, in an essence. Awesome. And so for all of you that don't know the difference between active and passive compression. So if you've seen like compression socks, that's passive compression. Active compression is actually like massaging, compressing, compressing the leg. So it's actually got a, it's a pneumatic, is that correct? The motor in here? That's right. So it, it's pneumatic compression. So basically what it uses is uh, air compression to, uh, you know, compress your legs. So it's got pumps that suck in air and inflate uh, the device so that it's pushing against uh, uh, your calf muscle uh, in, in a certain pattern, uh, which is of course a patent pending on RN, uh, and that's how it kind of compresses the leg. Awesome, so talk to me about these, these patterns. Like why are the patterns important? I know you guys talked a lot about it on your, uh, on your crowdfunding pages. Yes, uh, so we have two patterns. Um, one is called the graduated compression pattern uh, the other one is called the pulsatile compression pattern. So the patterns are very important uh, because the patterns control, uh, on one hand, the level of compression, so basically how tight uh, the squeeze is. Uh, also, the pattern uh, controls the, um, the, the timing of the compression and the kind of like method in which it compresses. So if you, you know, experience it, which you have, you'd notice this wave-like form uh, compressing your leg from bottom to top. Um, so, and then if you, you can move around the intensities, uh, to, you know, change the level or, or the tightness of that, le uh, of that compression. So it's all important in terms of the tightness, the sequence, the pattern and the timing, uh, because if you're doing it wrong, you might actually, uh, be doing more harm than good. For instance, mm -hmm. if you're not pushing the blood back up and, uh, you, you're doing the sequence, say from top to bottom, you might actually be pushing blood down. Uh, and if the timing is off, uh, where, you know, before the second chamber compresses, the first chamber lets go, then uh, the blood might be just, you know, coming back down because of gravity. So the timing, the tightness, and all of that is very important. And that's something that we've uh, put a lot of uh, work into. And, uh, you know, we've applied for a couple of patents around that as well. Awesome. So, I mean, yeah, it's clear you've put a ton of work in this product. This is, I have to say, an incredibly beautiful product just from the design, the look, the feel. I mean, just, just, just to get a product that's so hearty, like well-made, I've, I've literally taken this all over the world. I've been to China, Vegas, um, long car drives in this thing. And it looks, I mean, you can see, I mean, I've, I've worn it significantly and it's held, it's really held the test of time. And uh, you've made a really, really cool product here. And so I'd what I'd love to know, and of course, we'll demonstrate it here in just a couple minutes. I'll, I'll put these bad boys on. And, uh, I know you've got one on your end as well. Um, yeah, no but I'd, I'd love to know kind of what was the process in creating this product? What inspired you? What was the initial spark? And then what was the process that came to this, this awesome product? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's been uh, quite... Uh, you know, a work um, and a few years of, of work actually. So we initially drew inspiration because we were looking at um, certain like conditions, especially, you know, di diabetic neu neuropathy um, and other conditions in the leg. Uh, so when we were deep diving into those conditions, um, what we realized was that compression technology or compression uh, would be beneficial for a whole range uh, of leg conditions. Uh, so that's where we started, and we identified compression technology. Uh, then when it came to compression, uh, on the one hand, you had static compression. Uh, those are the compression socks that you talked about initially. Uh, but those are very, you know, hard to wear. You need to wear it for long periods of time. Uh, people have a negative connotation, uh, you know, around them because, you know, people might think that you have a condition associated, a whole range of issues. Uh, and that's on one end of the spectrum. The other end of the spectrum was active compression. An active compression you'd find in hospitals. Um, so if you have um, a, a surgical procedure and you're bedridden, they might plug in these big boots onto you 
uh, uh, to help improve your overall circulation in your body. Um, but those devices were also very bulky, uh, you know, not very easy to use, uh, and also very, very, very expensive. Mm -hmm. Now, pro so athletes tons wires, tons of cords. Yes, exactly. Um, and pro athletes, uh, people, uh, you know, had access to similar products in the high-end athletic market, uh, but. What we realized was the same scenario. It was very expensive, um, lots of you know, wires, cords, not very easy to you know, move about, not very easy to use. Uh, you can't use them uh, and then walk around and go about your daily you know, you know, chores or uh, you know, continue your work. Uh, so that was a big you know, uh, barrier for people. So what we wanted to do was you know, we identified that active compression could be you know, a benefit for a, ton of uh, conditions, ton of, uh, you know, problems that people are facing in their legs. So we said, let's make it uh, easy to use. Let's make it uh, something that's portable, that people can carry about, that's uh, fun to use, that looks cool, uh, and also uh, relatively very affordable for, you know, people like you and me to just mm -hmm. um, purchase and use. Um, so we wanted to make it um, very available. Uh, that, that was the inspiration and we've been working towards that because we've seen uh, the benefits of, of using active compression and we wanted to bring it to a, a wider audience. So let's talk about that benefits of active compression. So what, uh, especially, and we'll talk about the calf muscle in and of itself in a second, but so what really are the benefits of active compression? What can people expect from using this on long plane flights? What can people expect when you know, wearing this after a leg day? Sure, so I'll, I'll take the leg day scenario first. Um, so if you're worked out and your muscles um, have undergone, you know, uh, a certain workout procedure, say you've gone for a run, uh, you're after leg day, or you've been standing for a long period of time, uh, what happens is uh, you might experience muscle soreness. Uh, that's because of lactic acid buildup. Uh, and you'll also have like microscopic tears uh, that occur uh, in your muscles. Uh, if you've been standing for a long period of time, uh, you, you find uh, blood pooling uh, in your legs uh, due to gravity. Um, so the way that all of this can be improved is by ushering in a lot of new blood into that area and you know, pumping the used blood back up. Um, so what spring does or active compression does uh, basically is help improve that circulation. So when you wear this device on your leg, uh, it will mimic your calf muscle pump. So in your leg, your calf muscle pump uh, is basically like your second heart. What it does is it presses against your, your veins and pushes the blood back up towards your heart. Uh, so the, if, you, if you're doing it at a higher rate, uh, that means more blood is being, you know, entering your, your, your legs and more blood is being pushed out. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's what active compression kind of helps with. So when more blood is coming in and going out, that means your lactic acid is flushed out at a higher rate. Uh, your, uh, you know, there's more oxygenation and more nutrients coming in to heal all those microscopic tears as well. So you have lactic acid being flushed out at a higher rate. You have more nutrients and good oxygen coming in to help, um, you know, rejuvenate and uh, help help reconstruct those, uh, you know, your, those muscles. At the same time, uh, what it does is if you have a pooling condition uh, in your in your legs. Um, the blood basically is, is pushed back up towards your heart. So those are the benefits if you're, for instance, on, on a leg day. If you're on a long flight, similar condition, your legs are stagnant, your calf muscles are not moving, uh, and your blood is not being pushed back up towards your heart. So uh, when you provide that active compression, what it does is it, it reduces that swelling by virtue of circulation and by virtue of pushing the blood, blood back up towards your heart. So that's what it basically does. Got it. And I definitely know, I know that one firsthand. So um, just a little bit of an anecdote. I wore these on my way to China. I was going out there for the Canton Fair and um, to find some cool products and uh, wore them. It was, right, it was actually right after a leg day. So I did a leg day and then literally got on a flight, LAX to China, really long flight, put these on, got off the airplane, felt great legs usually when i fly they're sore of, of course after leg day they'd be sore but i really didn't feel anything um they felt i felt great ready to go i was able to to hit the uh the, the, the conference floor so that was awesome now on the way back 
I, I had him in my, uh, I had him in my bag, but I didn't put them on. I was like, okay, well, let's, let's see, let's see what this is like not wearing them. And about halfway through the flight, my legs started aching. Uh, I'm a really tall dude. I'm six, five. And so I'm pretty cramped in an airplane, not moving around a lot. And my legs were actually like hurting. And so I got them out, put them on and maybe five, 10 minutes later, it felt great again. So it actually like removed that pain and it felt amazing. It's like having like a mis personal masseuse kind of on your calf. Um, so the personal, go ahead. No, you must've been walking around uh, the fair quite a bit as well. So uh, naturally your legs would have been quite sore. Absolutely, absolutely. And so, yeah, and it's so funny too. I mean, the members of my team, friends, like this, like of all the products that I've reviewed and worked on, this is by far the most like stolen. So like all of my friends are like, where do I get one? I'm gonna steal yours. Um, they did. I had a couple units, and they're all gone now. I'm like this is the only one. This is the only one I have left. You sent me four units, and they're all gone. Uh, okay. So it's the most stolen. The most stolen. I mean, I had a friend whose grandma really, really wanted to try it out. So give it, give it to her. But um, I'm glad that it's helping people out. So that's that's the most important thing for our team. Yeah, no, absolutely. So huge, huge benefit from it. Um, so I know we're talking, like a lot of people ask, like, can I put it on my arm? Do I need it to put it, like, do I need it to fit the entire leg, right? I mean, you kind of hinted at it when talking about the calf as the second heart, but I'd love to know and share with everybody why the calf, right? Why not the whole leg? Why not your shoulder, right? Like why the calf? Okay. Um, so we, we were focusing very much, you know, like I said, we drew inspiration from conditions in the leg. So we were targeting the leg specifically. Um, then what we looked at was, you know, are we doing something for the entire leg or can we find a place in the leg that we can, you know, really focus on uh, that will give us pretty much the same benefit. Um, that's how we identify the, uh, the calf muscle. Um, because uh, that's the strategic location that needs to be compressed uh, actively that can induce or help with circulation in your entire, you know, extremities and by virtue of that, your entire body. Uh, because your calf muscle is responsible for, you know, 90% of the blood being pumped, pumped back up from your lower extremities uh, due to gravity. Um, so when you're uh, pumping blood back up, from your calf, you're pushing the, the, the blood that's even in your, in your thighs and your quads. Uh, everything is virtually pushed up uh, by, by that push that's coming from uh, your calf muscle. So we said, you know, are we going to sacrifice mobility and ease to, easy, the, the, the ease to use uh, by putting uh, it on the whole leg? We said, no, let's, let's focus on the calf because that's the strategic area. That's the main muscle. Um, so, and then, you know, we can make it less expensive by virtue of that. We can make it less bulky, uh, and easy to, um, you know, carry about, uh, for, for people. So let's focus on what's really important. Uh, that's what we targeted because the benefit, uh, would pretty much, uh, be, be the same. Awesome. So speaking of, uh, trying it on, let's, let's, let's put these bad boys on, shall we? Yeah, go for it. Let's go for it. So I'll scoot back so you guys can like, <laughs> you guys can see the, see the magic. So I'm going to, I'm going to put these on. I'm going to go like, I'm going to pull out my hair as well. Yeah, let's do it. Time for a calf massage. Let's go. So there is a left and a right one. Uh, I might actually pick my camera up off of my, off of my computer and show it to you guys. So check it out. There's one. I've really perfected the uh, art of putting it on, like kind of like the ratchet technique. Like you put, you put on like one that's like high and then low so that I can like walk around. Like you need to absolutely walk around with these and uh, it won't come off, especially if you do the ratchet technique, right? Yeah. <laughs> Right, so it's a long, long time perfected. Definitely, it took me a second to figure that out. But um, love them. Uh, you can see on the side here. I'll kind of turn this way. Actually, I'll take I'll take one off so you guys can see it. Um, you can see there. So, can you tell me a little bit about what this is and what that does? Sure. Uh, so, on the bottom, of course, is the USB charging. Uh, so, very uh, simple. Uh, folks can charge it uh, same way that they charge their phones. Uh, we send the charger and the cable. Uh, along with the device as well. 
Um, and uh, there we go. The one that you pointed on top, um, so there are uh, two holes um, that, that you'll see. Um, so on the, on the right one that we have, that I have here, again, you see a similar circular hole, but it's got like a bit of a light bulb. Um, and then on the one that you were showing is probably the left leg. Uh, yeah. It's got a similar circular thing and a, gap, a holding gap. And there's, a, there's like a black unit inside. Uh, so both these holes, what they, what they are is for the infrared. Mm -hmm. uh, so on the right leg, you'll have the in infrared emitter, uh, which is like the light bulb. And on the leg, left leg, you'll have the uh, infrared uh, receiver. Uh, so what it does is once you put it on, you can sync the devices by controlling uh, both devices with the right leg. It's just an added uh, feature so that, you know, you can, once they're switched on, you can change the intensity, you can change the mode by just controlling the, uh, the right leg and they'll uh, start off sequentially. That's so awesome. That's what so um, let's actually, I'll hold this up. I could show it to you on my leg, but it's a little harder to see. Um, so I'm just gonna hold this one up here and I'll show everybody kind of like the different buttons, what they do, all of that stuff. So yeah. first of all, in the center, this, this big diamond, this is the power button. So when you turn it on, you get a light. I believe this, this is the battery indicator, right? So it shows you how much battery you have. That's right, the first yellow will show you uh, how much battery you have. You know, whether it's fully charged, whether that's 66%, 30%, et cetera. Awesome. So then next we have uh, this one, which I believe changes the intensity. So we've got start low, medium, and high. So you can change it, the different intensities. Any benefit to the, the different intensity levels? Other yeah, than comfort? Uh, no, just, just, absolutely. But just before that, Tom, as soon as you switch in, you'll see the yellow lights come in. That's the battery level. Yeah. Uh, soon after that, you'll have a green light come in, uh, which is one of the modes, which we'll get to later. Uh, that's the default mode that it uh, begins. I'm sure you, you feel it uh, working and yeah. Yeah. And deflating right now. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, but the red light, uh, you can hear the it. Arrow pointing up. There you go. You can hear it as well. So the arrow pointing up is the level of intensity. So um, low, medium, high. Now, you asked me what the benefits are. Uh, different people have uh, different, different issues. Uh, some people might like a higher level of compression and tightness, especially after a tough um, workout. So, you know, ideally the, uh, you know, the high intensity for that. Uh, you also mentioned that I think your grand, uh, one of your friends' grandma uh, wanted to test it out and probably really like the product. And for her, uh, what might be more suitable and uh, relaxing might be a lower level uh, of, of tightness. Uh, so it is totally up for the people uh, to uh, you know, experience that and see what they're comfortable with. Uh, so that's why we've given those uh, varying intensities. Awesome. Yeah, it's, uh, I love them. I think too, like on a plane flight, after, after a bit, the super intense one was maybe a little too intense. So I liked turning it down a little bit because I wore it for hours. What's the battery life on this? Again, it's, it's a long time. Yeah, you can, uh, on a single charge, you can uh, use it for about two and a half hours. Um, so that's about eight to 10 sessions. Well, wow, mine lasted a lot longer than that, which is crazy. Okay. So this is this is what we generally say. Uh, actually, two and a half hours in the highest intensity. So, uh, so if you were using it at the mid intensity or the low intensity, it will last you uh, much longer. Got it. Got it. Got it. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I definitely fell asleep, but uh, it it lasted the entire time. And at the end of the flight, I still had it, and that was like a twelve hour flight. So definitely wasn't running the whole time, but. It seemed like to, it seemed like it lasted a very long time. So let's talk about this one. So you talked about the first one, uh, so which was the green, and then what is the, so of course this, these two little diamonds are the two different modes, right? There's green and there's blue. What are the difference differences between the two different modes? Got it. So the the green is the default, which is the graduated compression pattern. Uh, it has a very smooth sequential pattern moving upwards um, um, that you will feel. When you press the, the double diamond button, uh, again, you'll get a blue indicator, which is the pulsatile compression pattern. Now, the pulsatile compression pattern is somewhat similar to the graduated compression pattern, as in it'll you know, squeeze your leg uh, from bottom to top, but it will be different in that there are certain points of like uh, tight compress, 
uh, compression and letting go. So you'll have it like compress and then let go suddenly and then compress again. So that's where you'll feel this pulsing kind of uh, um, feeling. Kind of hear it almost. Yeah. I don't know. I've got a really good mic, so hopefully it's picking it up a little bit. Yeah, in terms of sound, um, it's, it's, that's one of the, um, I think, concerns that we had. A lot of people didn't want uh, a, a noise device. So this is similar to, uh, I think, uh, a normal laptop functioning, uh, unless you like listen very, very closely. Um, oh yeah, it's super quiet. It's like, if you can't, if anybody's listening right now and you can hear it, it's because I have a very nice microphone. So. But, uh, and it's cranked up. So that's the only reason you'd be able to hear it. Otherwise, like in iPhone videos and things like that, you can't hear it at all. Um, and I don't even really notice it. So, For sure. cool. So the other thing that's also awesome that I, I like about this too is, of course, I'm wearing them with pants right now, but usually I don't work out in pants. And so using this after a workout, of course, you might be a little sweaty. Uh, and I love the fact that you incorporated a like you're able to like tear that out and uh, throw that in the, it's machine washable, correct? That's right. That's, you know, it's, it's, it's machine washable. You can you know, throw it into the- uh, Yes. The, so like totally pull it off all the way and like just toss it in there because this is the part that touches your leg. So yeah, your leg is like wrapped in that. So super cool. Amazing. So is there anything else from a product perspective that you'd like to illustrate or show or do you feel like we've covered pretty much everything? Um, I think we've uh, covered pretty much everything. Of course, um, there are four colors. Uh, you're yeah. in the business uh, right here. I've got Orion Place Ping Pong. Uh, we've got uh, three other colorways, the Blue Flame, which actually is uh, you know, very red. Uh, then we've got uh, the uh, Faster Than Comets, which is a uh, gray. And then we've got, uh, we unlocked uh, As Black As My Heart, uh, which is a, a solid kind of- I uh, love that one. <laughs> yeah, black design. Uh, that got unlocked on Kickstarter. So uh, we, we're developing all of that. Uh, uh, people in terms of like uh, pickup, uh, people seem to love uh, the one that you're holding, Faster Than Comets and The Black. All three are like, you know, vying for the first, uh, first place position in terms of demand. Nice, nice. Yeah, I love this. Definitely love this color. Black is personally my favorite, but <clears throat> this, one's, this one's awesome. I didn't, didn't get to see that one in person because that got unlocked on Kickstarter. So, um, <clears throat> but stoked for that. Really, really stoked for that. Uh, anything else? Um, in terms of the product, no. I think um, we, we are now, uh, we've gone into manufacturing for the product uh, to, you know, serve all of our Kickstarter and Indiegogo backers. Um, and we're, you know, putting all our efforts to ensure that, you know, like you said, we've put in a lot of work and it, it is a pretty hardy device. So we're, you know, putting a lot of effort to ensure that quality, uh, remains the same. Uh, we ensure that uh, you know everyone who's backed us and you know our future. If everyone who wants to use Spring uh, get a really really cool um, reliable device. Yeah, I mean, so far I've used this for quite some time. You've had it for about reliable. six months now. The yeah, yeah, yeah. It's about six months. It's been to CES. It's been to. Canton Fair, it's been to the mountains, it's been to Utah, it's been all over the place and I've had zero issues. So not once. Oh, and same thing with the other, you sent four units, all, all of them working, working great. So you've made clearly made a great product. I know that sometimes with Kickstarter and things like that, people can be concerned. Is this going to be made well? Where is it being manufactured? Like, is the quality going to be there? And I can, I can tell you guys right now that this is absolutely a quality device. So um, you, should, you should feel really, really proud, Hezika. You've, you've made an awesome product. So thank you. Yeah, no, I think uh, credit goes to, uh, I'm just one person that's the entire team behind it. Uh, we've got experts in electrical engineering. Um, you know, the, the main tech lead, uh, Dr. Angelo, comes from a biomedical and biomechanics background. Uh, so he's put in a lot of effort into the science behind it, the compression patterns and all of that, uh, and a really good, uh, you know, product development team as well. So, uh, you know, kudos to all of them for all of the hard work uh, over, over the couple of years. Awesome. Yeah. Huge, huge thank you to the entire team. Um, so on that note, my last question for you is what's next? Like, do you know, can you share anything like, 
<clears throat> anything you want to tease of course you don't feel yeah. like you have to but i think uh you know in this in this uh world of you know digital uh stuff uh, we're definitely thinking uh digital uh so you might have something that uh is you know on your phone that has uh, a connection to spring um and like i said we, we're keeping it modular uh we're keeping uh things uh, very simple and easy to use uh the calf is one body part uh, there, there might be other body parts that we want to kind of focus on as well. But uh, bottom line is we, we believe in active compression and the benefits of active compression, making it affordable for a whole range of people. Uh, and yeah, we want to help with you know, daily livelihoods, um, people doing their daily work. Uh, we want to inspire them to, to be better and to do better. So we're definitely working on a, a couple of things in the pipeline uh, that will be coming out. Um, so yeah. I'll, I'll ask everyone who has supported us to look forward to that as well. Awesome. Yeah, I'm really, really excited to see what you guys come up with next because you guys did an amazing job. Definitely stoked for your next crowdfunding campaign. Whatever's coming next, count me in. It's going to be awesome. Absolutely. So is Thanks there anything so else that, that you'd like to share with like or say to your community or anybody watching? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Um, thank you for... Uh, all the support uh, that you've given us, especially on Kickstarter, uh, we, you know, really, really liked uh, and are inspired by the support um, that, that you've given us. And that has kind of driven us to, you know, build the next generation of products, uh, think about, you know, things digitally as well. And we're working towards that. Um, and to all of those people who supported us, a big, big thank you. So I hope you guys keep supporting us uh, in this journey. Uh, as we you know, move on to uh, new things. Uh, we are working very, very hard and tirelessly to ensure that uh, the products are current, which are currently being manufactured get to UASAP. Uh, so that's, uh, that's something that we're working on, but more than anything, thank you. That's, that's what I want to say. Awesome. Thank you for sharing that, Heshika. And uh, if you'd like to learn more, if you want to join the community, if you want to get your own pair, I'll make sure to post a link in the description below. So uh, please share this and uh, enjoy your enjoy your springs. Yeah, spring on. You got to spring on your step. Spring on your step. Absolutely. Spring has sprung. Let's go. So comment below with your best spring dad joke, please. <laughs> that would be amazing. <laughs> I want the best spring dad joke. That'd be awesome. But uh, thank you, Heshika, so much for being on with me today and for uh, sharing this awesome product with the community. And uh, look forward to the look forward to the next one. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Tom. Thanks for having me. Awesome. Take care.